So what, what happened after that mm. experiment for you? I know in the moment you were quite sort of taken aback. I remember being shook afterwards because I was kind of like, whoa, how much of my life do I operate on this autopilot where I'm filling in the blanks? Therefore, how much of my life have I kind of flying with one eye closed and one arm behind my back? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like just, just on guesswork of what, what's going on. So again, this is another one that took me a day, two, maybe three to really let it sink in as to what it had done for me. But for me, this made me slow down, is what it made me do. I realised that the more I was in a rush, the more my imagination had to fill things in. The more I slowed down, yeah. the more I gave myself an opportunity to actually look and absorb the actual situation and act on reality, it's a funny word, act on reality rather than my imagination, which is inherently going to be created by my limiting beliefs, by my programs, by the stories I tell myself and by my BS basically. So that was my big takeaway from it. The fact that when I act in haste and when I'm rushing and when I'm feeling disconnected, I'm pushing myself into a situation where I have no other choice but to act on my limiting beliefs and my programming. Yeah. But when I stop, be more considerate, take a moment for mindfulness, I can, I can actually act on what is. And that layers in, for me, another, um, another sort of point of importance when it comes to meditation and meditative practices. And I don't just mean like closed eye meditation. I mean like when you do meditative activities, like it could be you through cooking or through gardening or through taking your shoes off and walking through a, a stony gravelly park or something, whatever it may be, those things that really bring you into the moment. Because those practices of just slowing down just help you in general to slow down. So I. So after this, it, and it, when I say it shook me, it really, really did. Because nothing happens for no reason. You find yourself in a situation over here, and re regardless of your model of the world, whether you think, you know, if you're very woo-woo, oh, I vibrate, you know, my inner world, my outer world reflects my inner world, so this is a result over here of what I felt over here. Or whether you're more of a materialist view, and you just believe in causality, the chain of things happening, well, if this has happened, the chain going back here, I must have started this chain. Whatever your model of the world is, it all leads into the same thing. And what shook me was I was like, if I'm at this point here and I'm operating with 30% facts and 70% made up nonsense based upon whatever, I'm taking myself to the place I've always known, the place which has created limited beliefs, the place which has created the programming. And I put myself in this perpetual state of reprogramming myself over and over again. That really scared me, <laughs> like, really, really scared me. So it slowed me down. I realized, you know, the, the rushing and the not rushing piece. So it actually increased my meditative practices. Um, it didn't increase my closed eye meditation, but it increased my mindful moments. Mm -hmm. So I reintroduced a practice that I'd put down a short while before which is where I just had an alarm on my phone every couple of hours and when it goes off I just take a 60 second mindful moment. Mm -hmm. Just breathing, nothing else, maybe focus on something peaceful and it's just to slow things down. And just do that every couple of hours. Um, just to bring your overall pace down. Um, and whether it had an effect or not, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. I guess there's probably tests we can do for that. But the, the feeling of it afterwards okay. was that it was. And I guess the final point there was that it brought just an added level of consciousness, an added layer of consciousness about things. Like, like if I, there's been a couple of instances where something has occurred in my, in my reality and I'm like, that's kind of not what I would want. How did this occur? And I kind of look back through the path. It's like, this is in my mind. I'm like, okay, when did I switch off? Yeah. When was I rushing through life and when did I, f so then exactly, when did I fall into a period of programming which affected that path of causality and brought me to here? When did that happen? Mm -hmm. So yeah, so it brought, a, it brought a layer of awareness and I think that the fun thing about that is, is that exercise, that exercise is a really good one for the spiritual path and mm -hmm. the growth path. And I know not everybody's on the spiritual path, um, but for those that are, I think it's really good because one of the key things is awareness and, 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 and presence. And this just highlights that for you.